To use the onClick functionality within Dynamic Components, the first step is to decide which position or orientation will be affected by the onClick action. In this case, we'll use our X position. Next, we'll add the onClick behavior attribute. A third step is to add a custom attribute, which we will use as part of a formula. In this case, we'll call it travel. We'll start by setting our travel value at zero. Within the onClick value cell, we'll type the word animate, start bracket, in parentheses, the word travel, which will reference the cell below, comma, zero, comma, 50, close bracket. The idea is to animate the travel cell value from zero to 50. In the X position, We'll type equals and we'll use our current value, but we'll add the travel distance, which will animate from 0 to 50. We'll then use the interact button on the dynamic components toolbar to click on the component and watch it slide side to side, changing the x value from 0 to 50.